Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in this video we are going to learn about a wonderful exercise that can be prescribed to cervicogenic headache patients in order to relieve pain by reducing stiffness and improving mobility in the upper cervical spine. Now please note that we have already made two videos in which we have covered in detail about the neurophysiology of cervicogenic headache as well as the diagnosis making and certain important treatment strategies to help relieve pain for such patients. Do watch them before you see this one. Now let's say that the cervicogenic headache patient has tested positive on the flexion rotation test for the left side rotation which means that the upper cervical spine mobility for the left side rotation is restricted and the therapist has already addressed this dysfunction by giving the mobilization to the posterior arch of C1 using the mobilization with movement method that was described in our previous video. Now the exercise that we are going to demonstrate is going to further help to enhance and restore the rotational mobility at the C1-C2 motion segment. So let's get started with the practical demonstration of this exercise. So this home exercise will be called as the atlas or the C1 push and rotate technique. So let's say this patient is having restriction for the left side cervical rotation. So we are going to utilize a mobilization belt for prescribing the home exercise to the patient. The first session should always be done under the supervision of the therapist so that the patient can gain confidence in the performance of the exercise as well as the therapist can supervise and teach the patient the right method to perform this technique. So make the patient sit on a chair with a straight backrest with the back fully supported and then next place the cervical mobilization strap over the C1 vertebra. The belt has to next come forward on the right side. So let's say we want to mobilize on the left. So this belt is going to come on the right side towards the angle of the mouth and the handle of this belt is going to be held by the patient's left hand in this manner. Now how to ensure the right positioning of the strap? So just palpate the patient's mastoid process and then keep following in the posterior and inferior direction. At the base of the skull, just inferiorly we are going to find the posterior arch of the C1 vertebra. The belt should come exactly overlying the posterior C1 arch and the other side handle of the belt is going to be held by the patient's right hand which is going to be supported over the abdomen and the elbow will be slightly hooked in the posterior direction to provide stabilization. So this part of the belt is actually going to be doing the mobilization and the other part of the belt which is going obliquely and downward is our stabilization part. Now after we have positioned the belt and secured it firmly on the right position, the therapist is going to place the fingers over it to ensure that it doesn't slip during the self mobilization. The therapist is next going to instruct the patient to push using the left hand the C1 vertebra from the posterior to anterior direction and after we achieve this glide, the patient is next going to be instructed to rotate on the side of dysfunction. So yes, keep rotating, very nice. The patient should also be informed that this glide should be pain free and in case any discomfort occurs, then we have to again bring the patient back to the neutral position. If the glide is pain free and the patient is able to achieve the end range, then we have to apply the over pressure by asking the patient to put little more effort for one or two seconds and then returning back to the neutral position. This should be repeated only twice for the first session. Now please do note that during the initial sessions, the end range over pressure should ideally be applied by the therapist instead of the patient. As the patient becomes confident with the performance of the exercise, overpressure can be applied by them. So this was all about the important information regarding the atlas push and rotate exercise that can be prescribed to cervicogenic headache patients. Do try this on your patients and let us know your valuable feedback. Also, please do note that these exercises should only be performed on days when the patient does not have headaches. So see you all in our next video. Till then, keep, learning, keep sharing and stay connected.